This is a really straightforward tutorial on getting a random value from a list using RAND between and VLOOKUP. No scripting involved, just formulas. So I already have my list set up, one through seven. Boss, Boba Fett, Casa, Sara Singh, Dangar, IGD, and Zucas. Here in A2, I want to get one of these seven, don't care which one, just randomly pick one for me. So we're going to be utilizing two functions here. First, ran between. And ran between, you select any two numbers and it returns one number between those inclusive. So if I do between one and five, one and five, as you can see here, five is an option. So this is inclusive on both sides. And I don't think, yeah, there's no parameters to change that. Secondly, we're going to use VLOOKUP and we're going to use the return value of the RAND between into the VLOOKUP list. So what that looks like, let me do this in steps. RAND between one and seven. And then here I'm going to do a VLOOKUP with that number as the search key this as the range and VLOOKUP always means the number, the, the, not the number, but the search key in the left column. There are ways and sheets that we can tr move this around and trick this around. But when it gets passed into VLOOKUP, the first column needs to be the column we're looking it up in. Index is two. That is the index in the range. And this is one of the biggest things that people mix up in VLOOKUP. I'm not asking for the column of the sheet, right? I'm not saying column five. I'm saying of the columns in the range, return column two. Is sorted. In this case, we can actually leave it alone. Usually I set that to zero because usually we're looking up specific data. But right now we can actually leave that alone. The RAND between formula updates as all Volatile functions do RAND, RAND between, today, now, all those functions update anytime there's an edit. So if I come over here and just start typing, right, it updates the RAND value every time I type something or delete something or anything like that. Okay, the only improvement I'm going to make here is I don't want this RAND between separate. I want it inside of the formula, just like that. This we can always stack formulas inside. So here we're doing really simple VLOOKUP ran between one comma seven, the range and the index is two. And here's really the part driving it. I use this all the time when setting up characters, when choosing a stock, whatever, anything you need where you just want one of the various options. This is how I always go about that. I actually use this a lot when setting up some of my tutorial videos to give me one of the various options instead of me manually going through and typing it all out. Because oftentimes I would even have a second list over here. And I can use the same index. I'm going to do one to five by range here, index three. So oftentimes I'll use this just to build out a bunch of randomly collected lists that I need to do. But it's one of my favorite tricks with VLOOKUP is to use RAN between and a sequential numbering here in order to return a random value out of a desired list. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share if this has been a value. You can connect with me here in the comments. I do try to be fairly active in responding and helping in the comments. You can also email me, find me on my website, LinkedIn, Twitter, and I'm also very active on the official Google help forums for Sheets and AppScript.